a lot of people in this audience knew B.J. Ferguson or heard her speak. She passed away last summer um, and was you know, very involved in this organization, both as an allergist and rhinologist at the University of Pittsburgh, um, and very much a, a pioneer in the field, um, very smart physician scientist, um, very much cared about this organization. Um, and you know, she was very entertaining on panels. She was always a little bit controversial, but knew her facts and, um, and very dear to many people. Uh, her family contacted the board afterwards, and they gave a gift, and uh, we felt that that gift would be best used in a lectureship uh, that we could start while people around that still need BJ. Um, and this is our first one. And so it's my privilege to um, say that we've used these funds to bring in expertise um, for something that BJ loved, which would be food allergy. Um, Amal Assad, Dr. Assad, is here. She's from Cincinnati's Children's, where they have a huge allergy immunology group. The, um, she served there as a residency director. She started out in internal medicine peds, and then she went to allergy immunology fellowship at Cincinnati Children. Um, and then she ran the fellowship program there for 16 years. Um, and she is a national expert on food allergy. And it's our privilege to have her. Please welcome Dr. Assad. Of course, in an allergy practice, uh, we see other allergies other than food. But I have this graph only from when I started in 1997 as an attending there up to 2005. And then I stopped tracking it. But as you can see, that the percent of food allergy gradually increased as well as the number of patients we've been seeing. So the question is usually what do they want from us? And they want accurate and comprehensive diagnosis. We want to do a good job with them. They want knowledge about every aspect of the disorder. They want novel treatments. And they also want prevention for future siblings. So if a family has a child uh, with food allergy or a parent has food allergy, they want to make sure that the child or the sibling does not have the same disorder. 